Okay guys, so this isn't, isn't going to be a full commentary, just going to talk a, a bit about some things that I had in mind. This isn't a live commentary, it's just a normal commentary. And the things that I wanted to talk about was that, as most of you may know, ACR days are pretty much over. So when AC3 comes out, I'm pretty much sure that we won't see more of this game that I am showing you a video right now. Yeah, makes you all nostalgic, right? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay, so hopefully a lot of the players who left ACR because of rage and the glitches and all the other stuff that we know is there, we have always known is there, but, but it got worse after patch 104. Well, all, all the stuff we hope that it doesn't reappear or, or at least that most of it doesn't reappear in, in AC3. Uh, I say that most of it because it, it would be <laughs> it wouldn't be possible that none of it be back in, in AC3 especially because for example most of the issues that well some of the issues that ACR has uh, have to do with lag and, and the players lagging so yeah, you know that that kind of thing isn't going to disappear from from one day from one game to the other because uh, you know it depends on the players and and their connections. So Ubisoft can't really do much about that. Although actually, what I think is that what they what they should do something about is that they should try to to make the game react to lag to lag in a, in a different way. You know, right now it reacts in such a way that it is too much of a disadvantage disadvantage for, for the other players, not just for, for the guy who is laggy. Normally, in well, or in, in a lot of games, when someone is laggy, it, it becomes a, a disadvantage for that person, not for everyone else, because that, that makes you rage. Like, oh, this guy is lagging, he stuns me, and I can't do anything. And it's not my fault that he's laggy, it's his fault. Well, or well, in some cases, it's his, it may be someone else's, uh, I don't know. But the point is that the laggy player is the one that should pay the consequences of his lag, not everyone else, right? But, well, I, don't, I really don't know if they can actually do something about that. Another thing is that I have big hopes in, in terms of, you know, the mechanics of the game that now that the the prompt the stun prompt doesn't come up over the head of the pursuer anymore that's going to be a great boost for for stealthy players like right now you you cannot even come close to your target because they are going to see the the, the, the giant i'm here to kill you button over your head and it's like you know getting a focus on, on your on your target is like an impossible thing well at least from the ground you can do it from an acrobatic position above him, but you know, it, 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 on the ground it's almost impossible. But on, on AC3 I see that it's gonna be way easier. Also another thing is that now that Smoke Bomb has a, a longer cooldown, it has 90, 90 seconds cooldown I, uh, as far as I remember. It can be cra crafted up to 75. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, the scenarios that happen in, in Revelations where five people, six people throw smoke bombs at you <laughs> uh, just because you're in the way, that, that's not going to be happen as often in, in AC3. And pretty much because, yeah, I think that people are going to start noticing that smoke bomb takes a lot to cool down and you gotta make some reasonable use of it, not like <laughs> the, the madness. That, that happens in ACR right now and I think that's just gonna be great it's going to contribute to a much more enjoyable gameplay gameplay that requires more skill not just uh, lame or as AB Santos uh, said uh, lazy gameplay he, he said lazy but I will say lame because people just depend on one ability for everything I mean, sometimes there's uh, a guy who's grounded and even though the guy is grounded, they go walk up to him and offensive smoke bomb the guy who's on the ground. 
So I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Just go silent and kill the guy. Why do you have to use smoke bomb for that? Why, why don't you save it for something more, more, more useful? Like stunning two people later or whatever. But the point is that people do that because no matter how much they use the smoke bomb, it cools down too fast. I mean, you, you, you can use it and and do an offensive smoke bomb and by the time that your pursuers get to where you are or uh, you you already have it you already have it again again you know and if you don't have it you can just run a bit over here and there and for example something i have seen a lot of people do is that they start running for their next target and in the meantime you know smoke bomb recovers and that's just silly because the smoke bomb is way too powerful. And also another thing is score times two with <laughs> like this. For example, look at this. This guy offensive smoke bombs the biggest noob in the game. Kills him with poison for three thousand points. Like the guy had twenty six hundred before the kill, and then all of a sudden he he has fifty six hundred. And then I I I look at myself like. Okay, so I play stylishly, I play stealthy, you see, for example, this guy doesn't even know I am, I am there, he, he just uh, noticed that I was there when I actually killed him, and I, making points the hard way, I am uh, uh, being overwhelmed by some guy who lets himself die five times in a row, and then he gets a 3000 point kill. Oh really? Yeah, that, that's that's how this game is, it works. So you know that's one of the there's no other word to describe it other than bull, you know the word. And I cer certainly hope, although I, I do not know if a score times two is removed in, in AC3, but I certainly hope that it is removed because that's going to make gameplay so much a skill, a skill requiring uh, than it is now because now it's like oh yeah smoke bombs score times two bam and you were losing by three thousand points and all of all of a sudden you win what's that what the hell is that seriously come on and uh, another thing about score times two is that how come that the best kill streak which is the animus hack uh, is uh, is not as good as score times two which is a loss streak. You know, like, you have to kill seven people silent in a row to get the hack. But for score times two, you just have to die five times and, and the benefit is, is bigger. Of course, you still have to, to actually land the, the score times two, which, of course, may require some, some effort depending on who your target is. But for the most of it, let's just say that it's a benefit that is too big when compared to, to the price to pay, you know? So yeah, I certainly hope that's removed in, on AC3. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much my opinion. I am <laughs> dying to play with the Night Stalker. That, that character is just badass. <laughs> yeah, face it. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are going to be dying in my hands as I am the Night Stalker. <laughs> In fact, if I if I could, I would have used that as my PlayStation and <laughs> network ID. But nah, since you guys know me as Nova Mage, yeah, cannot change. And besides, it's it's probably already being used by someone else. By the way, uh, I hope you guys uh, checked out the the background that my, the the main page of my of my channel has and that you like it <laughs> because well in a way i did it for me but i also did it for you i hope that you like it and well i don't really have much to say that's what i have to say when it comes to ac3 let's talk a bit about the gameplay here okay so this is pretty much in the closer of the game this guy is the guy who scored times two the poor noob, <laughs> the poor noob for 3000 points. So he's trying to beat me, and you see that during his last seconds he's running. He goes behind that wall, and oh yeah, you think you're gonna stun me there? 
Oh no, you're not gonna, <laughs> not gonna happen, my friend. I'm going to win this fair and square by staying here. <laughs> you're losing. You want me to after you, <laughs> while I am winning? Ah, not gonna happen. Okay, so, so what? This was a nice game. I, I hope that you enjoyed both the commentary and the gameplay. If you were uh, what paying a lot of attention to the to the gameplay, and. I hope I'll, I'll see you guys in AC3. I'll probably put up some more commentaries on, on ACR. I, I don't know. It depends on how I feel and uh, on the how much free time I have. But let's see. Let's see. And as I said, see you on AC3.